If it looks like I've been considering crying, it's because I have, okay? Considered it. I just found out someone super duper close to me has died. Rick passed away, man. I don't remember his name. Mike? I know it rhymed with yeah. Okay, so it's either Rick or Mike. There's these guys who work around my apartment complex fixing it because it need, needs it bad all the time. So I drove by one of the guys I knew, not as well as Richard, but well enough to ask where Richard was. The conversation was pretty short. I'll try to give it to you verbatim. I'll play both parts. That's the wrong window. You ruined it. Sorry I ruined your story, Michael. Wait, was it Rich? Hey, where's the other guy at? Did you not hear? No, yeah, I heard you. I just wonder where he was at. He died. What? Yeah, man, he passed away. My condolences. So I roll my window up and I drive away, okay? From Gareth. <laughs> I can't remember everyone's name in the world, okay? Come on now. I have no reason not to believe Gareth that Mitchell died. Well, who does that? I don't know Gareth as much as I know Mitch. I'm maybe three speed bumps and a left turn away from getting to my apartment. And you better believe I took my time, okay? in memory. You will be remembered. You would not be called by the right name, but you will be remembered. We had a relationship only two men who didn't care could have. He did maintenance. I don't understand that. And I make videos for the internet. It was an unlikely friendship, okay? Kind of like an otter and a kitty cat. A cotter cat. Our cute name would have been Mike Don. Think about that. And I wish you would have had a Mike Don so I could have heard your last words. What were they? What did you do? How'd you die? I don't want to know. Too personal. Tell it to me straight, Gareth. Did he die doing maintenance? Can you die doing maintenance? I don't understand. <laughs> was he happy when he went? Because he was happy when he wasn't. And I know that. All right, P. I was thinking back to all the good times we used to have almost. I was Brad. He was rich some days. Michael the next. I don't know. But we both knew how the weather was because that's all we talked about. Ain't that right, Rich all? I hope he knows that I'm happy. I'm in a better place because you did maintenance on it. Mitchell on my long drive over three speed bumps and a sharp left, it was as if time was in slow motion. As if my whole entire life flashed before my eyes. Part of his. Well, most of it. He's dead. Gone, but in a better place. Doing maintenance in heaven. Ain't that right, Michelob? I'd like to think that there's a throne up there waiting to be repaired. <laughs> Tears just ran down my face in my mind. I mentally teared up. Quarantine your bodies, but don't quarantine your heart. Because you never know when your 14th best acquaintance is going to pass. But then I finally turned the corner to get to my apartment, you know, the sharp left we've been talking about. And lo and behold, right, Chew. <laughs> it was Rick was Rick was working on something, doing maintenance, doing what he always loved. Thank you for the second jam. It's so good to see you, Mick Rebs. For the past 49 seconds, I thought you were dead. I don't know if this shows off my true character or not, but the second I saw Michelob Ultra, I went to my apartment. I did. I didn't say hello or nothing. I should have. I wanted to. But then, how is that conversation gonna go? I thought you were dead! No one wants to hear that they were dead. How do you get over that? How do you believe anyone else? Lord knows I can't believe Gareth Brooks anymore. Gareth over here spreading lies like the plague. Now I know why you did it. Have you no respect for the dead? There's Mike, over there, just hammering away at something. I think, I, I don't know if it was a hammer, I don't know. I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. As if someone placed their hand by my head and said, here. Take a break. And I just did that. I don't want to always have to support you, head. Rick was alive and well. Okay, well, I don't know if he was well. I didn't ask how he was doing. Or how the weather was. It really does just go to show that you need to tell the ones you love that you love them always. And then you need to remove some negative people from your life. Okay, Gareth Books, I'm talking to you, buddy. How am I supposed to believe a word that Gareth says ever again? The man who cried dead guy. You don't cry dead guy and get trust back just like that, okay? It don't work like that. If you cry dead guy and I turn the corner and he's picking up trash with a hammer, you and I are gonna have trust issues. I no longer wanna hear your opinion on the weather. 